Hey guys, welcome to another Tinker that video. So this time I just want to show you something uh, that I got, I bumped into really accidentally and uh, made me all excited. Okay, so first of all, just uh, let's uh, imagine the situation that uh, you're new to IoT, you have bought your first microcontroller, a couple of sensors, and you started experimenting implemented your first firmware in Arduino IDE and burned it and, and put it together in the proto board and it's working. So yay, you're all excited. You want to, let's say, have your temperature sensors around the house. And so you get to the point where you're ready to install them. And finally, you end up with something like this dangling out of your walls. Not a pretty sight, right? Okay, and I think I just have a perfect and cheap solution for you. So let's switch to my workbench and let's see. So this is the enclosure I was talking about. Look at it. It looks gorgeous. It looks like it's straight out of fa factory or something like that. Uh, it doesn't look like a DIY uh, creation at all. So let's look inside. First, I just disconnect the USB cable and just open it up. So, as you can see, it has a protoboard inside and a node MCU inside. And it looks like a perfect fit. So, there's nothing uh, soldered at the moment. I can just easily remove the node MCU. So you can see the protoboard inside. Okay, so the funny thing is that uh, the protoboard is about halfway down the box, which means that it leaves you pretty... you can see it through actually. So it leaves you with a nice amount of space at the second part of the box where there's actually airflow going on and Within such a box, you can uh, stick in like plenty of sensors and, and, and cables and modules and whatnot. So the Node MCU, I, I think this one can even fit an ESP32. So just let's see and try it. Okay, whatever. So the main point of this video anyway is to have a nice little enclosure for our ESP node MCUs. So this looks like a match made in heaven because uh, due to the airflow you can put smoke sensors or temperature sensor or humidity sensor um, inside the second part the other half of the box and it will still have airflow so shouldn't mean much of a problem also this box is made of plastic so it won't do any bad any harm to the Wi-Fi signal of the node MCU um, actually I just pushed this protoboard inside the box this is uh, the, the five centimeters times seven centimeter uh, centimeters large uh, protoboard from Geekrate also and I just simply pushed it inside and it's already fitting quite nicely but you can still use like hot glue or something like that to make it even more sturdy and of course if you're soldering the components on the on it then basically just one, have one solid enclosure and all the parts inside. So yeah, that's it. I think from now on uh, my external sensors um, will be hosted inside these little boxes because they are really cheap and 
you can order them in I think yeah 10 packs packs of 10 okay one thing mentioning though is that I'm not really convinced this is a coincidence so just let me show you something Geek rate. This is the node MCU. Geek rate. This is the box. And guess what? Geek rate. And these are the proto boards. Uh, you don't necessarily have to buy uh, packages like this, which contains a various set of proto boards. Uh, you can just buy these 5 times 7 centimeter ones uh, separately. I think they come in various uh, pack sizes, like single one, ten of ten of each, or, or I mean uh, a, a pack of ten or a pack of thirty or something like that. Anyway, uh, I will look. Uh, I will link the product link for each of these components. In the description so you shouldn't have to worry about finding them okay guys basically that's a, that's it that's uh, all I wanted to show in this video I just got really excited because uh, after quite some time I finally found an enclosure for the ESP node MCU projects which doesn't require me to to dremel stuff to glue stuff to, to 3D print or something like that. This just works out of the box and it's really cheap and really professional looking. I mean, you can cut holes on it like for a motion detector or something like that, some sensor that needs to, let's say, look out, take a look on the outside world, like a light sensor or something like that. Okay, so thanks for watching this and see you next time.